Privyat Kamra, TF Kamia. I was waiting for the video to end. Uh, I knew it was 30 something that I did. I think it's 30 minutes, 10 seconds now. I've counted it a day. But anyway, so I was gonna, my, uh, my, my co worker would wear her little uh, lip studs, and I say that as a joke because. Uh, because technically she'd wear them in her lip, but she'd wear earrings. Like literal earrings. It wasn't even like they looked kind of like earrings. They were, she would literally have earrings in her lip. So these huge earrings, you know, that obviously did not fit. It's an iffy one because I say big and it's like the, you know, the ball of the earrings are usually really big. And it wasn't even like the hoop earrings or that. She would actually have like legitimate studs and she'd stick them in her mouth. And so it's like they were bigger in appearance but the gauge on earrings is a lot smaller than on lip rings. And I think they do, they, I mean, I'm sure they do make lip rings that are as small as that. It's just that you have to um, look for them, of course. Okay, what the fuck? I don't care. <laughs> Lake Tyler, on your left. But we're in White House. There's another sign that says White House. I, I, I passed two. I passed... The one that I guess is the outskirts of White House, and then the one that is, I guess, the actual White House. I don't know. I kind of tempted to see how long I can stay on the loop, how long it will take me to get all the way around. I know Tyler just like the tiny little corner of the loop. The loop, the loop, the loop is on fire. No, I, I joke about the loop. We, we all do, because there's two roads that we just called the loop, and they are, they're both loop. They're both loop 323. Both have the same name, just one is South Loop and one is North Loop. But they're not connected. That's the irony, you know, I've, I've seen where it's like, you know, a split in the road, you know, there's West West Broadway and then East Broadway, depending on which way you turn. Um, but this is legitimately, like you turn left, you're on North Loop. You stay going straight, you're on South Loop. And it's like, that's not, Unless it's spun away around, that's not north. Or maybe we're not really going south and that is north. But it's like, that's that's not... Um, <laughs> sir, you need to look at um, this little like compass thing, thingy with Jiggy. <laughs> or map. Map has a little legend on the bottom now. But, um... <laughs> whatever, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm all over the place right now. So, Green Acres um, was an uh, interesting place. So, yeah, I had worked there for a while and I never had a name tag. And a little, and this little lady was like, you know, why don't you have a name tag? And I was like, I don't know. I assumed maybe they were waiting to give me one, and uh, I was like, I've asked for one, and they just never gave me anything. And I was like, maybe they, um, maybe there's a certain amount of time I'm supposed to stay until then. Maybe it's really not that important to have a name tag. I don't know. But again, like they were, they were kind of in a situation where we weren't supposed to not have a name tag, like it's official dress code to have a name tag, and apparently I have a collared shirt, and a dress pants, and everything else, and like black shoes, all those other rules, but I never was told any of those rules, I just knew that common sense, I need to have a name tag because everyone else does, you know, but uh, speed limit 70 dude, you're, you're going 50, not that I, well, I say not that I mind, uh, but if I'm gonna be doing a two hour trip, I wanna not add to it, please. <laughs> please and thank you. One more kisses. Uh, I'm really hungry and I have food next to me. I'm just talking too much. But, you know, <laughs> you know, what else is new? Ooh, that's a big hill. I'm gonna go up that hill. I, I, I'm sure you guys can tell now I absolutely love doing adventure, is what I call it, or adventure time, or explore. And I literally love doing where I'll just go random direction, I'll do this turn, this turn, this turn, and I'll just like go somewhere new. And it's like the most fun thing ever for me because I'm just like, I'm on a trip, I'm on a trip, don't know where I'm going, but I'm on a trip. And before that'd be terrifying to me, but I like the fact that I don't know where I'm going. And you know, if I, whenever I'm done with my trip, I'll put on GPS and turn back, you know, and then find my way back home. This is the thing, I don't pay attention to what roads I'm taking or anything. I'm just gonna go, ooh, I haven't taken a left in a while, or ooh, that street thing looks cool, I'll go down there. You know, and it's every once in a while I'll reach a dead end. But I just love to do that, I just love to explore, and 
people who ride with me are just like, you missed your turn. I'm like, oh, well, let's keep going. And they're like, no, 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 find, you know, <laughs> we need to do that turn. And I'm just like, oh, no, no big rush. I'm just going to explore the town or, you know, <laughs> or they'll be like, where, where are we going? And I'm like, I don't know. You, you, you don't know. Well, how do we get back? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I love, I love doing this stuff. And it's, it's weird. I know. But I'm just a weird person. Blah, 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 blah. Ew, I forgot I have hamburger meat thawing. I left it out last night for four hours and it was still solid as a rock. So I gave up and put it back in the freezer. And so I put it out today at um, around here 7.40 or so. 8, 9, 10. 10, 11. It's been about four hours now, so it might be thawing. I don't know. It might be thawing by the time I get there. Probably not. I don't know. They may have put it back in the freezer. My roommates did that. I'm going to fucking stab someone. It's, it's likely. But, uh, anyway. Um, anyway. Ooh, troop in five miles. Troop. Troop is in Tyler. I guess it stretches on to other places, too. I don't know. Tyler. That was, say, country. Hello. That was country and British, and I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. But anyway, adventure. <laughs> uh, what was my point there? I was talking about work, yes. So I never got a name tag, and, um... The boss was kind of a dick. He, he really was. But well, everyone hated him. Even the assistant manager hated him. So it made me feel better that it wasn't just like... He's not like he was anti-trans. He was anti-everyone. And he never commented on me being trans. I don't think he ever did. I think he called me ma'am a lot. Or, um... He would call me Rebecca because that's what my name was in the system. Or a new, new kid. <laughs> new kid. That's like South Park there. But, uh... Yeah, he never really... I think I controlled him once I want to go by Eli and he, he, he called me that. Um, like, he would never really cause any big issues for that. But he used to say, um, her name is Eli. You know, it was like, a, eh, he's working. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't like outing myself as trans because it's a huge issue. Are they accepting you? Are they not? You know, blah, blah, blah. It could end up being a bad situation. You could, you know, lose your job. They would say it's some other reason, but, you know, they would get me for that. There's a lot of reasons you can be trans. Or uh, not be trans. I'd be fired for being trans. But they would just make up another reason. Like, oh, you're really bad at uh, recovery. And, you know, and so they'll have a little write-up note saying that, you know, you did bad at recovery. And so you can't take it really to court or anything. I mean, you could, but it's very low odds of winning, first of all, because the courts are usually biased against trans. But also the fact that, uh, well, the paper is all in order. It says that you're bad at this recovery, you know. I'm glad my phone's charging right now because it might have been dead by now. No, that's always the that was panicking mode once because I still loved my adventure, but I didn't have a uh, cord in my car. Which you know, I was always like, oh, I'll just stop by a store or something whenever I pass one. And then it got light and stores were closed or I wasn't running into one. I was like, crap, I'm dead. <laughs> I had that situation so many times where um something like I lost my keys in my car, I like left them in my car. And my phone was pretty much dead when I left to get... I was always at Walgreens, because I'm stupid. But I was like, my phone was dead pretty much when I went to Walgreens, but I didn't want to leave it at home. It had a little bit left, you know. An awful case of emergency, emergency. Well then, I didn't have enough to call anyone, because I didn't have a charger in my car. You know, there was stupid things. I, and every time I told myself, I'm going to change it now, I never did. <laughs> you know how that goes, but... um. Anyway, anyway, well, I met a co-worker there named Jason, and, um, we lost touch for a while, but we're really, we're getting close again. Um, Jason was called, uh, Leprechaun. He wasn't Irish, uh, well, he might be of Irish descent, he just doesn't have an accent, so I don't know. He could be like me and hide my accent in public, so I don't know about that either. Um, oh my gosh, I don't think you guys have ever heard me hide my accent should I do it? I don't know. Um, I think I think I want to go into this this year. I, I, I'm branching off a lot. I'm sorry. It's hard to follow, I'm sure. And I'm sh I've watched subtitles on my videos sometimes. And they're all over the place simply because they can't understand the accent in certain parts and they're guessing. And then again, they're bad in every video I watch, whether it's mine or someone else's. But it's still kind of interesting being like, they have no idea what I'm talking about. I did subs for one video. And, um, 
I did do that Sulps, yeah. That was whenever I first started using my accent, wasn't it? Or did I use it before? I don't remember. I assume I have. I've had this account forever now, it seems. Forever. It may be. Oh! I'm in Troop... The city of Troop. I thought I was heading to Troop Road. Huh. Okay, I'm in the city of Troop. That's new. I didn't know that city existed. But I am here, so I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> explore! Explore! I haven't seen, like, a Walmart or anything. I'm sure there is one just hidden. I don't know, some of these small towns don't have Walmart, so I don't know. Going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship, going through the sky, little Einstein's. I don't know. I may be copyrighted there. Um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, Oasis. Le Corps. Like the little accent mark and everything. Le Corps. Ooh, fancy. But, uh, psh, am I even on the loop anymore? I really hope I am. Because if it's the loop, I can find my way back easily. Well, I mean, I can find my way back anyway with GPS, but... The loop, I at least know, is a circle. And my goal was to figure out how far it went. So if I've turned off the loop, then I kind of ruined my goal here. I'll have to see the next light or something. Um... Makes me look back down. Ooh, car wash. Woohoo. But... ba 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 but yeah, uh, so, um, I've talked to you about how I hide my accent. I've talked to you guys about that in multiple videos. But I don't think you've ever heard me not hide my accent. Like, ha I've never, I don't think you've ever heard me hide my accent. Because, um, ooh, the gas is more expensive here. Naughty, naughty. Uh, ha, ha, ha. But, oh, they're turning away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, friend. No, we were driving together for so long. We were driving together for over an hour now. Bye-bye, friend. Oh, Jacksonville's that way. I know where Jacksonville is. Jacksonville is fairly close to Dallas. That, that might be not the right way to go. <laughs> that might not be the right way to go. Maybe I am... Um, maybe the loop goes further than I thought it did. Ew. I feel like I'm going way too fast here. And it's, it's weird because... Um, drugstore. Yes, I would like some heroin, please. <laughs> two heroin. Two heroin. Yes. No. But, um... Da -da -da. Okay. I, I know that that's like a pharmacy, but, um... I need to make sure I'm on the loop. <laughs> I don't think the loop goes this far. I mean, I know it's a really, really far loop that lasts for a few hours, but I don't think it goes to Jacksonville. It may just be saying if you turn here, you can get to Jacksonville. I don't know. Road I'm on, but I'm gonna keep on going, keep on going. Adventure time. It's 30. Well, I'm in Troop, Texas, according to the sign. Hello, Troop. We love you. We love you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I am not a wish. No, the voices are sh quiet, quiet. No, just me, just me. <laughs> uh, no, um, I, I do, I do hear other people in my head, but that's that's beside that's beside the point. That's beside the point. That's not important right now. Um. That's all this conversation's about. Um, da -da 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 -da. That, that's a kind of redundant sign there. The speed limit's 30, and there's a sign that's saying, you know, don't take the turn faster than 30. And it's like, okay, you know, I, I would I would assume you're not going to take it faster than 30 because that's the speed limit. I mean, people don't follow that, but... Oh, Jesus, this is hard to take at 30. Next one, take at 35 at most. But the speed limit's still 30, so why am I gonna go over speed limit to make a turn? I don't know. I guess because it's hard to go under 30. I don't know what I'm... I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I think I'm on Highway 13 right now. Or Farm, farm to Market Road 1068. That may just be if you go that way. So okay, now the speed limit's six, uh, 50. It's not up. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, but, um... Did you know, sorry, I got a text message that popped up right then. I was like, what happened? You know, I thought my phone was messing up. Um, what's that sign for? Want a new town? Ooh, I'm in Cherokee County. Oh, shite, I'm in Cherokee County. Nothing wrong with Cherokee County. It just means there's no street lights, there's no stores, there's no gas stations. There's usually a casino or two. 
Uh, sometimes, well, I mean, sometimes I'm sure there's a gas station, but there's usually not very many. There's like maybe one or two in the entire county. As you see, there's no street lights at all. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll find a way to make a U-turn. But I kind of want to see where the loop goes. You know, if this is really the loop or not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. Where the fuck am I? Uh, yeah, back, back to my accent thing. I want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> I'm talking here. But, uh, 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 I mentioned that I hide my accent a lot. And that's why, you know, I use my accent in my videos. Because it's nice to be able to actually not have to hide it. And be able to talk freely. But at the same time, it does hurt my throat. Because I'm so used to hiding it. Uh, that's why making videos more often is better. Because it makes, you know, me used to it again. But then I start using it in public. I'm like, shite. I started talking with an accent. Um, well, you know, basically, um, uh, I'm all, I've hidden it for so long because, um, I was always taught to be ashamed of my accent, you know. Stop messaging me. I would love to talk to you right now. You know, like my BFFF. But I'm trying to drive and to make a lovely video. Bitch. Uh, she, she's really cool. She's Jason's wife, which I, I was starting to talk about him, but one of the uh, accent thing. I'm just gonna go all over the place. It's probably like a three-hour video. It's a video series. Um, this is probably my longest videos I've been have for a while. But uh, unless I run out of space in my phone, please don't run out of space. I just deleted like 12 videos last night because I was like, oh crap, I haven't been doing that, and my phone's in low space, you know. Um, watch me end up in Dallas, and I'd be like. Well, I'm home. <laughs> I'm home. I should have been out that long. It's only been eh, about an hour. Eh, not too bad, like not too bad. I've been filming for about 50 minutes, so less than an hour. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I was always trying to hide my accent. You know, appear American, be American. Or, you know, fully embrace it. Don't don't talk about it. other countries. Don't their language, don't uh, have the accent, you know, everything else, like, don't wear their clothes, like, avoid any talk about other countries, America the greatest, you know, that's what my mom always taught me, that's like the 12th sign, it says Farm to Market Road 13, so I'm assuming I'm on Farm to Market Road 13 now, so that's not the road I'm supposed to be on, unless they form together, I have no fucking clue, mate, if I reach a light, I can U-turn it, but I haven't found a light yet, and I could risk a U-turn here, but the roads are really tiny, and it's curved a lot, so I don't know if someone's gonna like come out real quick and you know, we know bad. Uh, you know, it could end up bad, but um, I'm waiting for a U turn spot, you know, something like that. I can turn on my brights, that might help a lot, but whoosh. what if someone comes around the corner? I don't want to be the dick that blinds them. I hate when people do that to me. Weird, it is. Maybe it is the same road and they just call it something different. 
That could be true too. Historical marker. That's a church. Ooh, a sign. Oh, that's not helpful. <laughs> go straight to go to price. I'm going to price, because the price is right. I suppose. Maybe they'll hold mile markers. Or, not mile markers, uh, <laughs> turn, turn things. So turn I'm on East Farm to Market Road 13, is what that sign says. Coolio. Come find me, I might get lost. <laughs> if I break down, I don't have a, I don't have money to get gas, nor is there a gas station anywhere nearby, because I'm in Cherokee County. Well, I have about a quarter of a tank. Oh jeez, I thought that was like spikes, it was just leaves that were really shaped. If my video ever cuts off, uh, I'm gonna keep talking. I'm not even gonna acknowledge it anymore. And I know probably most of you are not even gonna watch the end of this video, unless you just wanna be like, did he live? No, <laughs> did he live? Possibly, possibly not. I don't really know if I did or not. I'm not mentally alive, but uh, ha, 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 ha. Jesus, I'm going all over the place. Back to accent. Accent. Ooh, the first light. Ooh, it's on a building. It's not like on a street light or anything, but hello building. What are you? Are you like the town hall or something? Ooh, another car. I'm getting somewhere. I found another car. I found a building. I think it's a house. Oh no, it's a tennis court. Holy sh- no, you know it's a house. It just has a weird fence on it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was smart. I was right the first time. Hey, hello mate. Where are you going? There, there's no lights back there. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm very friendly driver. Very friendly driver. And I'm like, I'm on a trip going way under the speed limit, but no one's behind me, so it's only cutting one off or making him stop. It's one lane, so I hate going slow if there's, you know, people who will want to you know, need to get around me or something. I hate going slow and keeping people behind, but, you know. There's no one here. That's why I like going at night. Also, because I don't wake up mentally until, like, 8 o'clock at night, it seems. But I've been up at about since 10-something. Because I thought my class was at 12.30 today for some reason. I had my alarm go off at 10. Uh, so, I don't know why it was set for 10. Because, you know, I actually have a set weekly alarms, you know, things like that. Maybe, maybe it wasn't, and I thought the date was wrong, so I set it last night. Because then I, because I didn't even realize I had gotten it wrong until my alarm went off at, um, at 12 to wake up. Because I gave myself, well, 12.30 to wake up. No, it, it was 12. Yeah, it was, it was 12. Which wouldn't be right either. Because... Yeah, I always give myself two hours from when class starts to wake up. My class has started at 2.30, so it means that my alarm should have gone off at 12.30, but I was still in the house when it went off, and since I thought my class started at 12.30, I wouldn't have been in the house. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know. I have to look into my phone, I guess. Whatever. Um, I think I've already lost, like, two bars in my gas tank. I'm sorry, car. I love you. Don't break down. I love you, motherfucker. Um, don't fuck my mother. She's weird. <laughs> I'm weird. We're all weird here. Huh. Yeah, well, my videos got flagged recently. I was like, what? I didn't think I talked to anything bad in that one. No, that's that's all it was. It was my Thanksgiving one. And I mentioned BJ. And I they I the only thing I think of that was really bad. No, no, it was my religion and philosophy video. And I guess the topic of religion is such a is just not advertiser friendly, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking for a way to turn around, and I feel like it's going to be like an hour on the way back, you know, just to get, once once I reach a flight, because I'm going so far. And I would try to find different ways, and da-da-da, but I knew I only went straight. <laughs> so. I don't know where I am, but I'm having fun as long as I don't run out of gas. I get paid Friday, so you know. But if I have to drive to the Thanksgiving place, yeah, we're having Thanksgiving, I may, I may need gas for that, you know? <laughs> you know? Well, uh, what about again? Jesus, back to the accident. Am I ever gonna finish a conversation? Probably not. Ooh, another sign. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? Oh, shite. Welcome to Rusk. Rusk right now. That is that is not. No, 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 no. I, I probably need to turn around. Turn around now. 
at least stop talking to myself as I'm here. Uh, that, that's kind of a joke, but not really. Uh, Rusk, I'm sure there's houses there for like the workers, but Rusk um, is one of is the oldest and a very famous uh, mental home in uh, in Texas, maybe the most famous in the South. But uh, Rus Rusk State Hospital is for the criminally insane, uh, and there's also a prison right across the street, and cops everywhere. I went on a field trip there because I, you know, I was looking into. We were learning about schizophrenia and stuff, and we wanted to look into a natural example and stuff. And apparently, a teacher did that every year. We were learning about different jobs you could get with a psych degree, things like that. And it was it was a scary place, and not because of the patients. Like I was scared of the doctors. I was worried they were gonna lock me up. You know. Uh, I was very much. They were watching me. They were. They were gonna. They were gonna catch me. They were gonna find out. So maybe that was my little paranoia kicking in from a schizophrenia. You know. But uh, I don't know. But Rusk is a very uh, iffy area for me. And there's usually they say there's usually people walking the side of the road that are not all together. And they say they're dangerous. That's an iffy thing. That are they dangerous or not? I mean, like, I'm, there are dangerous people with mental illness, but just because you have a mental illness doesn't mean you're dangerous, if you get, if you get what I'm talking about. But the stigma is that you are. So, are they really dangerous, or is it just people who see mental illness and they assume they're dangerous? It's always an iffy thing, that. But, uh, anyway, there hasn't been a sign for Tyler yet, which is kind of worrying me. You know, usually there would at least be, like, a turn left, you know, to get, on, get to Tyler. Big Spring Cemetery, who... But Rusk has a dark history of, uh, what I mean, one of the last ones to stop doing, uh, unwilling lo lobotomy. Like, now they still do lobotomy at places, but it's insanely hard until you get approval of it. And the patient has to prove, the family has to prove, everything else. Rusk, you could just say, let's say you want to get a divorce from your wife. Uh, back then, divorces weren't really allowed, or were really frowned upon. But if your wife was insane, she wasn't considered a person. So you wouldn't have to divorce her. As soon as she got locked up, it'd be like instant. You may have had to go through the paperwork still, I don't know. But they would do that a lot. Uh, they'd, she'd be perfectly fine. You know, they would, she'd wake up there or she'd be dragged there, whatever. You make stories up and horrible, horrible treatment to the point where they would, if they didn't have a mental illness before, they developed one. Uh, it, it was usually very bad. I'm now in price. So, was, is Rusk that small, or is Rusk a county, and Price is like a city in it, or maybe it's Price County in the city of Rusk. Me too. Hey, motherfucker. Where's a fucking street light? Sorry, that, that's loud. There's a stop sign up ahead, maybe I'll use that. I don't know, I feel bad when I use stop signs, because it's like, you know, that, that's not the intended purpose of the stop sign. And the fact that, you know, they... I don't know, there may be cops in there. So. It's a straight lie! Ah, ah, that's my voice. It's not even really a straight lie. It's it's a stop sign with like blinking lights over it. But it's a light. Oh, glorious, glorious motherfucking light, man. I'm looking. I don't see a sign that says no U-turn. There's really no room to do a U-turn. But there's no one coming. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a three-point turn here. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't follow my example here, okay? Don't follow my example. I am a bad boy. Don't do not do that. That is not only illegal, it's very, very, very dangerous to do a three-point turn on a highway. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that, motherfuckers. No. Um, but yeah, it's the rest of this dangerous place. But uh, with the accent thing, as I'm saying, you know, I've used it so much in my videos because it's the one place I actually can use it and stuff like that. But at the same time, um... I'm just so used to not being able to use it that it's, it's weird. And I, I talk about it all the time, but I don't think you guys have heard me not use my accent. Um, this is what I sound like when I hide my accent. It's still slightly there, but I think I do it pretty well. I'll just speak a little slower or um, have a bit more pause. I think about how I'm pronouncing the words, things like that. 
time. And every once in a while, an accent will slip through. And usually with words that have a who in them, my accent tends to come out. Uh, this is the accent that a lot of people know me by. If you meet me in public, this is likely the accent you will hear me speaking with to other people. Jason over at Green Acres, if you remember that. I was talking about my previous job and how I worked in a church area. And it's weird because the whole area was called Green Acres Shopping Center. And it was called that because there was a giant church called Green Acres right smack dab in the middle of it. So it's kind of weird to name a shopping center after a church. But I guess, you know, they have the Walmart, uh, not Walmart, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of stores, like the little mall, outlet mall things, they're called the Target Shopping Center. 